Hi, welcome to our daily encounter. Uh, today, in our daily reading, one of the things that sticks out the most in our reading is this, uh, this these blessings that Jacob give to his twelve sons. And it's very interesting as you go in and read them, uh, and you see that these are actually not only blessings but prophecies made about these tribes, how different these tribes were going to be. Uh, Jacob uses some very beautiful language to describe each of the tribes and and gives kind of the essence of each tribe or the personality of each tribe uh, as it would move forward in the future. Um, you have one described as a doe, another one as a strong donkey, one as a horned serpent. Uh, many, many different uh, descriptions to these different tribes. And, and this is very interesting how different they would be even though they all derived back to one person that would be uh, Abraham uh, even though they were all the same family they were going to be very very different they're also going to be very very different even though they were uh, going to be in a very very small confined space you're going to have 12 tribes packed into a small area about the size of New Jersey and and either way or and despite that they were still going to be very different uh, this was going to be indicated in the breast piece on the high priest. Uh, later on when Moses receives instructions on how to make the priestly garments, the breast piece was going to have uh, 12 stones. Uh, and on that, on that breast piece, these stones were going to be all different. They're going to be different types of uh, precious stones. Uh, and each one represented one of the tribes. And, and it just goes to show that even though each tribe would be a stone, it would be a different type of stone. Uh, each of them had their own uh, unique personality, their own unique essence about them. And this uh, also is reflective of the church today. Uh, as we look at ourselves as God's people, when you look within God, uh, when you look within the church, you see all different types of people and individuals. Um, part of that has to do with the nature of the church, the fact that it is for all people. Uh, around the world is no longer tied to one ethnic group or one nation now people from all different nations from all different backgrounds come together as one people in Jesus Christ and even though we all have that new identity and we have that unity together as one people we still are we still maintain our individuality as well and so that's why in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 Paul describes the church much like a body. You know, a body has many, many different members. You have fingers and toes and ears and nose. You have all different types of parts, but they all are included in the one body. Uh, each of them have a different function, but they're all included in the one body. And so even though they are very, very different, they are very, very unified as well. And it's very important for us to uh, recognize the differences but also to appreciate the differences between our brothers and sisters um, just because they they're not exactly like us uh, just because maybe their approach to God might be a little bit different than ours uh, because of their personality or because of their gifts um, we need to accept them um, they might have different gifts that we don't have and we might have gifts that they don't have but we need to uh, accept them in that way because we are all a part of the same body uh, we are, again, very different, uh, just like the different uh, tribes were different, but uh, we are all one people. And so we need to uh, appreciate that, appreciate the fact that God doesn't make uh, uh, rubber stamp Christians to where we're all exactly the same, we're all like robots and we all act and, and uh, live the same way as the other one. No, God has a, a church that is beautiful, that is multi-varied, and that is multifaceted, and yet in some strange mystical way it's all tied together into one complete unit. And, and that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So as you read through your reading today, if you haven't already, uh, just think about that. Think about how wonderful it is that God is able to tie, tie things together that are so different able to unify things that otherwise would have been uh, very much uh, had disunity in it 
And he has brought us all together as one people, as one body, as one family before him. So with that, guys, I thank you for watching the video. Uh, love you guys. Hope you have a great day. God bless.